We're two months into darkness over Velsar, and I'm sure everyone's been having lots of fun with Sekka and Evil Blood. The mini expansion is just around the corner, so that means new cards and hopefully some new decks. Rally Sword mains, take a look at this adorable addition to our favorite underperforming class. It's the funky feline, Cat Admiral. Cat Admiral is a 2 play point 2 2 swordcraft follower with a face damage rally effect. On Evolve, she brings all the boys to the yard, summoning a 1 1 ward and a 1 2. As a cheap follower with early and late game offensive utility, Cat Admiral is meant to support aggressive sword decks that focus on flooding the board and dealing face damage. Cat Admiral is unsurprisingly a commander, which has significance mainly for deck building. She isn't playable in a Walford deck, but she also won't dilute proven methodology. What year is this? While your opponent is playing busted cards like Aria and Miser, with Cat Admiral, you're just sitting there with two knights wondering if it's still 2016. If you had a good early game, you might push 2 damage with the rally effect on your first evolve turn. You can only trade into one follower and if Cat Admiral takes any damage, she won't be hard to clear behind a 1-1 ward. Decks like Gremory Shadow are traditionally weak against wide early boards, but most decks in the current meta would have no problem dealing with a Cat Admiral board. Rally 7 will almost always be active from turn 5, which makes Cat Admiral a weaker Razory Claw with the body. An aggro card doesn't need insane amounts of text to be strong. This is a key distinction to make because aggro decks are more about the uniformity of their game plan and natural synergy of their cards rather than the card's raw power level. Aggro Shadow was strong not too long ago despite their evolution points rarely being anything more than additional face damage. For an aggro card, if it's reliable and efficient, that's all that matters. Once you reach Rally 7, Cat Admiral is 2 guaranteed face damage for 2 play points, which is really solid for an aggro deck. Compare this to Skeleton Dreamer, a staple for aggro Shadow. For the most part, he's a 2 play point 2 2 with potential for a delayed 2 damage. Cat Admiral gives you the same damage without any significant setup or delay. It is true guaranteed damage since it can't be stopped by wards or other common effects. Cat Admiral is more than good enough as an aggro card in a vacuum, but whether she sees play is a whole different topic. If you can reach Rally 7 because of Cat Admiral's evolve effect, it's a respectably strong play. This line is one way of converting your evolution point into 2 damage while putting a bit more stats on the board. For the type of deck that would run Cat Admiral, playing 4 other followers by the turn you evolve her is not difficult. Cat Admiral is a cheap follower that always costs 2 play points, so it's very easy to play other followers with her on the same turn. Since her rally effect is at the end of the turn, order doesn't matter, you only need Cat Admiral to survive. This can be problematic for Geno, Fang Tyrant, and Albert Thunderous Doom. You can't hold a discussion about Swordcraft without mentioning these cards, and they are basically the only reason why Sword is any degree of playable in rotation. Cat Admiral wants to be an easy source of damage that you don't need to think about, but she doesn't synergize well with the strongest Storm cards in her class. This is Sword's current offering in rotation. Stall until Ada on turn 8, then OTK the opponent with multiple Storm cards. This deck heavily relies on consistent commander pulls from Gelt, and most of the damage is in intervals of 5, so Cat Admiral does nothing for it. A viable deck with Cat Admiral must aim to win faster than OTK Sword, so by turn 7 or earlier. It's difficult to add more damage to an Albert or Geno turn with Cat Admiral, which makes it harder to justify playing something that isn't OTK Sword. Cat Admiral into Albert is a combo that needed to work, but this just isn't the case. At face value, Cat Admiral is a strong aggro card. You can hardly ask for more than a 2 play point 2 2 that can deal 2 guaranteed damage on top of having a bonus evolve effect. If the framework exists for a traditional aggro deck, Cat Admiral would be a core card. The issue lies with the rotation card pool and the question of Swordcraft's identity. Albert and Gino are powerful storm cards, yet because of Ada and Gelt, it's incredibly hard to justify playing a faster deck with Cat Admiral. OTK Sword is clearly more consistent and makes far better use of these Storm followers. In the first place, OTK Sword isn't even a strong deck in the current meta, which makes a hypothetical aggro deck even less likely to see the light of day. Until aggro or rally sword receive massive buffs in the next expansion, there isn't much hope for our kleptomaniac kitten. If you like this card reveal, follow me on Twitter at NoirSV and check out TempoStorm.com check out the latest Shadowverse articles including my top tier deck guides.